Hello and welcome to Me in the USA. I am the Heathen Chips and this is my associate Mr. Gray and this week's honey comes to us from North Dakota. We have pure honey from the Grand River Honey Company. Hmm. They only sell in bulk orders pretty much. Five pounds I think was the smallest, I, smallest increment I could get and it is a very clear crystal, almost crystal clear kind of honey. Yeah. Very syrupy if you mm. at it. Yeah. Nothing really, other than like a sweetness uh, and a thickness, there's mm. not a... I think I'm getting, I think I get a little bit of like a hint of like walnut almost. Or middle to the end of the flavor. I'm not seeing that. Give it another taste. It's not like popped out, it's not real noticeable. It's after the sweetness has subsided. I get a little nuttiness off of it. I can, I think I see, I could taste where they're hinting at, but mm. it doesn't taste real super nuttiness, but there is like a little bit of a flavor where I could see kind of going that direction. Mm -hmm. So Chips, we were talking last week about uh, making mead and flavoring it with oaking uh, techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, you were talking about there's throwing wood chips, wouldn't you have to some, how do you, how do you sanitize wood chips? I assume they don't come sanitize out of a uh, bag. Yeah. No, there's, you can just go ahead and sanitize it like any, anything else and stuff. I'd still recommend, you know, giving it a quick washout or something, or the other route to go is to toast it up. So you're going to go ahead and throw it into an oven. Uh, just spread out on, some, on a sheet, throw it in the oven for about 350 degrees or so, leave it in there until it's, you know, browned up a bit more. So that might even give it a more smoky flavor doing mm -hmm. stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, it comes off great. So. Here we're back, we got North Dakota's mead. It's been about six weeks. Looks like a really clear mead. Gives off a little bit of sweet notes. Mm -hmm. Let's give her a try. Ooh, that's sweet. That is sweet, but it's very mellow and it. Like the sweetness builds up. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> it aerates after you drink it's it. It's kind of like the flavor hits you with the, the sweetness, and then the sweetness itself escalates. Yeah, it like aerates and stuff so stays in your mouth. That's good though. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I think I'd like it with a little less honey. It's almost a little on like a slight syrupy side. But it's and when tasty. you say syrupy, I can see what you're saying. Where like you feel, you can taste it tasting syrupy, but it's mm -hmm. not thick. Yeah, like it's, a syrupy. It's yeah. very watery. It's actually for me, it tastes thinner, like more watered down than a lot of the other meats we drink. You know what, this kind of actually reminds me of what the Great Value Honey mead tasted like, like after, after it had it fermented. Had like six or seven months, yeah, after a long time, it seemed Oh like yeah, it yeah, of, that was right, that was right, yeah. After it took a long time, it is kind of similar, where it mellowed out a little bit and just cleared up, so it looked a lot clearer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I could definitely see this one. I, I'm enjoying it mm -hmm. so far, I definitely. Comes off slightly, Slightly apple-y. I, I could see that, yeah, the, the sweetness and the crispness to it. Well, I believe I this one actually was a um, um, a clover honey. Which that would make sense because the Great Valley one was a clover honey. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's why they've come off so similar, but I definitely like this one a bit more in flavor. Yeah, it's definitely has the sweetness, but it's not an overpowering sweetness. Mm -hmm. I, it's definitely one you can, de I could see pouring into a glass and drinking with a meal or something. Yeah, all right, North Dakota. Good job. All right, well, until next time. Mm -hmm.